Hello, my name is Gisela Forni, and today I'm going to discuss a very important topic. During the last Data and AI Summit, Databricks is introduced Delta 3.0, and liquid clustering was one of the features introduced with this new version. But first, let's understand why Databricks did introduce liquid clustering. You all know when building a data lake house, creating an adaptable partitioning strategy is very challenging. This strategy must align with current data query patterns and evolve with new workloads. Initially, selecting the right partitioning strategy demands planning, but over time, query patterns change, rendering the initial strategy inefficient and costly. And features like partitioning evolution or partition evolution offer some flexibility for hive style partitioning, but they necessitate constant monitoring and adjustment by table owners. And these tasks add engineering workloads can be burdensome for users seeking straightforward data insights. And moreover, data distribution across partitions can negatively affect read and write performance. And Liquid is the solution. Liquid is a smart data management technique for Delta tables. It is flexible and automatically adjusts the data layout based on clustering keys. Liquid clustering dynamically clusters data based on uh, data partners, which helps avoid over or under partitioning problems that can occur with hive partitioning. Liquid is simple. You just need to set the clustering keys on the columns that are most often queried. For example, if you do have high style, high style partitioning, you can use the columns used to partition your table and mention them to cluster the table. If you did have the Z ordering, so you can you or and or and partitioning, you can use both columns in use for partition and Z order and to use them in the class as the clustering columns. And same thing, if you did have generated columns as uh, partition columns, you can use the original column as a clustering key. This is very, very simple. And Liquid is also very efficient. It incrementally clusters new data, so you don't need to, to have this trade-off between improving performance with reducing costs and right uh, amplification. And something very, very important, Liquid is flexible. You can quickly change which columns are clustered by Liquid without rewriting existing data. And that's what's, what's always happening. Let's say you have a table. You first, you just partitioned by city. What if in the two years or three years later, you want to partition by country and city? You would need to rewrite all the uh, 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 all the table. While for the clustering, you can do it very, very easily. And let me show you uh, how you can get started. So over here, I already have data stored on uh, a table called information. And I know information does not exist in English. I just add the S at the end, but it's okay. <laughs> so how to get started? So first of all, you need to have a, a, uh, using a runtime at least, uh, or I mean, you need to get a DBR 13.1 or above. And over here, I'm just specifying create table, airline detail, details, delays, clustering. And then you need to add, to add the keyword cluster by and add the columns. Of course, make sure for now to not uh, add uh, app you need to not to not goes up to you can go up to four columns, and for here I chose origin and destination, and then I I, I did fill this table uh, with the information I have in this data table, and I did the same thing, and I used the same column, but this time to partition my data table. So I did again create table uh, delays partitions partitioned by origin and destinations, which are the same columns I use to cluster my table. And then I fill uh, these delays partitions with the same data I used to fill the first table. Then what I did, I, I did run the, uh, the optimize. 
and you optimize it's very very important because uh, you need uh, because you need to think about something the, you need to use the optimize command on your tables liquid is incremental so meaning that the data is only written as necessary to accommodate uh, data that needs uh, to be clustered uh, and data files with clustering keys that do not match uh, data uh, to be clustered are not rewritten. And for best performance, Databricks do recommend to run regular optimized jobs to uh, your uh, cluster data. And of course, for tables experiencing many updates or insert, Databricks recommends scheduling an optimized job for every one or one or two hours. And because Liquid uh, clustering is incremental, most optimized jobs for cluster tables run very quickly. And that's what I did over here. I did optimize both tables, the one partition and the one clustered. And then what I did, what I did, I did run the same uh, pr uh, query predicates on both tables. So here you see, I added the where the origin equal to LGA. So as you can see over here, I got the results in 14.28 seconds. And for table clustered, where origin LGA, which is the same predicate, I got the results on 2.64 seconds. This is just magic. And of course, as I did mention, you can change the clustering columns quickly. You can, as, I, as you can see over here, alter table, delays clustering, cluster by, and I add, uh, I did remove the two old ones, and I now I am using the opt underscore unique uh, carrier. And then of course, I did run the optimize again. And if you wonder how would you know which columns are used to uh, cluster your table, it's very easy. You just need to run the describe detail, uh, the name of the table. And as you can see over here, we have the clustering columns. You will have the list of the columns used to uh, cluster your table. And if somehow you want to disable the clustering, you can just come here. And instead of having this, you can just turn by none. And this will disable, of course, the, uh, the clustering. So thank you for watching this video.